Uh, we have uh, one um, participant here shot in a question. What do you see happening in real estate over the next six months? Um, yeah, great question. Um, look, we're an inflationary market, no question about it. So for sure, in six months, values are going to be up. Um, and when you look at, like, there's a lot of great marketing, right? I'm a, I feel like I'm a great marketer. Jay, you're a great marketer. There's a lot of great marketing from real estate gurus out there. And I think generally, my opinion, I don't want to trash talk anybody, but generally, there's a lot of like, you know, pending foreclosure, doom and gloom type of messaging right now that's really not accurate. Look, right now, there's only about 1.2 to 1.4 million properties on the MLS. Normally, across the country, normally, there's about 3 million to 3.5 million on the MLS. Um, a good friend of mine is, is the VP of market economics for auction.com. And so I get it directly from the guy, the economist at auction.com. And look, inventory is down about 55%. So right now, Jay, simple supply and demand. There's more demand than supply. So prices are going up. And then when you look at how COVID uh, impacted the supply chain, again, we're in an inflationary market. So for sure, prices are going to go up. Now, by this time next year, around, let's say, September, October, November, December of next year, 2022, some of this foreclosure inventory will start to hit the market from the foreclosure moratoriums. But I'm predicting, and then my buddy at auction.com is also predicting that only about 15% of all of those distressed assets from COVID are actually going to hit the market. Remember, Jay, we're in a totally different environment now than we were in 2008. In 2008, people got in trouble and prices were going down. Today, people got in trouble because of COVID, but prices are going up. So that's going to bail out a tremendous amount of people. Um, and so here's what's going to happen over the next six months for sure is prices are going to continue to go up. Supply will start to creep back, but not as much as demand. Values will continue to go up. Interest rates will start to creep up, but not very much. The Federal Reserve has said that they're going to keep interest rates low. But in an inflationary market, you want to own the asset because there's a phenomenon called asset inflation which means your rental properties your rehabs your apartment buildings they're going to go up in value also rent values are going up look in dallas fort worth the rent prices are up 20 percent year over year even in cleveland which is where i'm from which is a relatively stable normal rust belt market rent rates are up five percent normally they're only up about two percent so even for Cleveland, values are up. So that's my opinion of what happens here over the next six months to a year. Awesome, Josh. I agree with you as well. Mm -hmm.